Hello traders, welcome to Alex Blue. This is Deepak and Gogoi. And in this video, I'll discuss about Bank Nifty. So this is the Bank Nifty chart, and then you can see here I given some support and resistance line, right? So in my previous uh, video, I given some support, right? So here you can see this was a support, and here was support, support, and a support, and here you can see this is support. So we have seen five. Uh, Process area here, and I draw a horizontal line, right? So now we can see this is a strong support of forming out there. Uh, for the resistance, you can see here we have seen some resistance out there, and here some support out there, right? And now we have seen a strong resistance of forming out there, right? So uh, today you can see. Let me do a little more. And then I can see here today. You can see uh, the price just open near this resistance, and suddenly the price uh, fell down. Right. So question is that what is our trading strategy today in Bank Nifty? Right. So let me check it, and you can see here. Right now the price is running in this range. Right. This is our trading range. So here we have seen this is our trading range. Uh, the supporting line is two six six nine five. So let me exit a little more. So I want to connect the lower point, right? So lower point. So now we can see we have seen our supporting line are there. Two six six two nine, and our resistance we have seen two seven six zero zero. So in my previous video I told this is a strong resistance are there, right? Because here many times there. Testing to break this supporting line, but the fail to break this uh, line, right? So again, price push up, and after that, they broke this supporting line and retest this uh, supporting line, right? So now you can see uh, I was looking for a sell opportunity below in this area, right? Below twenty seven thousand six hundred, but suddenly they opened there. I'm not able to catch this opportunity, and I miss it. And now you can see price is running in this middle of this range. So we have seen this is the range. I am interested to enter for the sell below this sub resistance line, right? Below this resistance line, and I'm interested to take buy above this supporting line, right? Now you can see the price is running the midpoint. Uh, in this uh, range, right in between this range, the price is running in this midpoint. So in that case, I'm not interested to enter for the buy or sell or any direction. So I always looking for uh, above this resistance line, I'll buy, right, and uh, below this resistance line, I'm looking for sell. And, uh, similarly, uh, so you can see here. Above this uh, supporting line, I'm interested to take buy, and below this uh, supporting line, I'm interested to take sell. So that is why today I'll uh, just today is a Monday, right? So I'm not interested to take any uh, position, right? In between this area, in between this area, or in case they break this level, so I'll start selling. Remember, if they break this level, right? If price is running above this uh, supporting line, I'm not interested to take sell position, right? If they break this level, so definitely I'll go for sell, right? Another, if they break this resistance line, so I'll go for buy, right? Next target will be here, and below here I'm looking for a sell signal, right? So we have seen for uh, our entry point. So let's check it in a small time frame, like uh, you can say like 15 minutes. So 15 minutes, you can see price is running in a downtrend, right? Or if you want to see in a four hour, uh, the price is also running in a downtrend, and 15 minutes also running in a downtrend, right? So most of the people are thinking, so let's check all are downtrend, so let's start for the sell, right? Or buy call, uh, sorry, put up some. So it is a wrong concept. So that is why you always. To break out the supporting line, so we have seen a 15 minute. This is a strong support up forming. So I'm looking for 
break this supporting line and when price will push up this area toward this uh, resistance line so definitely i'll start selling below this area right or if if suppose a uh, price not able to break this level they create new uh, higher low and i'm looking for some confirmation like this is trend line breakout right moving average cross bar whatever so after that i gonna go for buy uh, that will uh, that will be a little more risky because that data counter trading right so that is where you always find out the entry point so we have seen above this level we we'll buy i'm looking for uh, buy above this uh, resistance line and i'm looking for sell if i'm getting any sell confirmation below this resistance line remember above buy below sell right if and uh, similarly here above buy below sell right if they break this lower point so definitely i'll go for sell so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching